Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the method to solve the differential equation. In the last video I have explained one method to solve differential equation. Here we study one more method to solve differential equation. That is substitution suggested by the equation. We will take up one example. We try to solve this differential equation that is x plus 2y minus 1 dx plus 2x plus 4y minus 3 dy is equal to 0. First we observe the differential equation. Here we have in the first term we have x plus 2y. This term repeats in the second also. That is here also we have if you take this two outside we get 2 into x plus 2 2y. So, x plus 2y this is repeated twice. So, such cases we uh, substitute for this repeated term. Here we have x plus 2y repeat, uh, repeated twice. So, substitute x plus 2y as some other variable say t. From this we get dx plus 2dy is equal to dt or dx is equal to dt minus 2dy or we can write dy also. We replace either dx or dy in the given differential equation. So, substitute here x plus 2y is nothing but t. So, t minus 1 into here we replace dx. So, dx is nothing but dt minus 2 dy. So, dt minus 2 dy plus 2x plus 4 dy that is equal to 2 into x plus 2y x plus 2y is t. So, 2t minus 3 as it is into dy is equal to 0. Here we replace in this method we replace either dx or dy. Simplify this we get t dt here next term minus 2t dy here in the third term also we have 2t dy that goes off. Next we have minus 1 into dt that is minus dt. Minus 1 into minus 2 dy that is plus 2 dy minus this 2t dy we have cancelled. So we get minus 3 dy is equal to 0. Combining these two terms, first two terms we get t minus 1 into dt minus 2 dy minus 3 dy means minus 3 sorry minus dy is equal to 0. Clearly here variable got separated. So, just integrate to find the solution. So, integrating we get t uh, integral of t dt that is t square by 2 minus integral of dt. So, we get minus minus t minus t minus uh, integral of dy that is y is equal to c. So, the solution is multiply throughout by here this is this must be t multiply throughout by 2 we get 2 to goes of t square minus 2 into t. So, 2t minus 2y is equal to 2c. We have written 2c as k. Back substitution our t value of t is nothing but here we have t is x plus 2y. So, substitute for the value of t. Substitute for t we get x plus 2y whole square minus 2 into x plus 2y minus 2y is equal to integrating constant c. So, this is the required general solution of the given differential equation. We solve one more example. Let us take up this differential equation 3 tan x minus 2 cos y into secant square x dx plus tan x sin y dy is equal to 0. Here we observe that 
there is tan x also its derivative that is second square x dx also we have cos y and its derivative minus sin y dy so in this case also we substitute for tan x and cos y because tan x is uh, present in the equation also its derivative cos y is there also its derivative present in the equation and no other terms uh, contain this uh, variables x and y so we substitute for tan x as t so tan x is equal to t its derivative second square x dx becomes dt we put cos y is equal to u in that case minus sin y dy is equal to du if we substitute this in the given differential equation we get 3 tan x is t so 3t minus 2 into cos y is u into secant square x dx is dt plus tan x is nothing but t into sin y dy is minus tu is equal to 0. Clearly this is a linear differential equation and we know how to solve linear differential equation. First we need to write the given differential equation in the standard form. So here we can write it as du by dt plus 2 by t into u is equal to 3. So this is the this is in the standard form. Identify the value of p. p is clearly p of t is 2 by t and q of t is 3. So let us try the value of p and q then find the integrating factor. Integrating factor is given by e to the power or exponential of integral of p dt. p is 2 by t. So integral of this integral 2 by t dt is 2 into log t. So it is exponential log goes of t square you get need not put the modulus sign anyway for any uh, t t square is positive I mean t square is equal to minus t whole square so t square so integrating factor is t square and we know the general solution in this case so the general solution of the given differential equation is given by u into integrating factor that is t square is equal to integral q into integrating factor q is 3 integrating factor is t square so integral 3 t square dt plus integrating constant c 3 uh, let's integrate this 3 into integral of t square dt is t cube by 3 3 3 goes off we get t cube plus c as it is and we should uh, and we should back substitute for u and t u is nothing but cos y t is nothing but tan x so we get cos y into tan x whole square that is tan square x is equal to tan cube x plus c so this is the required general solution of the given differential equation so this is how we solve the differential equation by substitution i hope you like the video thanks for watching